of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without him. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without him. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without him. Amen. Please kneel to the prayer to St. Jude. O St. Jude Adeus, thou relative of Jesus Christ, thou glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for thy virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor thee and trust in thee. Thou art a powerful patron and helper in grievous affliction. I come to thee and entreat thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with thy powerful intercession, for thou hast received from God the privilege to assist with thy manifest help those who almost despair of all hope. Silently mention your petition. Look down upon me, my life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou canst not forsake me in this sad life. I will not depart from thee until thou hast heard me. Go hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon thee and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. Saint Jude Adios, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Here I cry and turn 
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is the memorial of St. Josaphat, Bishop and Martyr. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Joaquin Mascareño. Please all rise to welcome our Eucharistic celebration. Ay, ma, 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, very specially, we remember and pray for all our brothers and sisters who are affected by the typhoon. That God may protect them and many generous hearts may reach out to help them alleviate their pain and poverty. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass by asking for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the Holy Ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as a man, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him that is my own heart back to you. I should have liked to return him for myself so that he might serve me on my behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel but I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps that is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. And if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self? Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ.
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects the strangers. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. This arise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. Be, but first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Friends, in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, we read, There is one God, and there is one who brings God and human beings together. It is Jesus Christ. God created all of us, but human beings were reduced to slavery. And Jesus is the one who mediates. He becomes a bridge to reconcile us to God. And whoever does such kind of work reflects the image of God, the image of Jesus Christ. And today's first reading, we find Paul perfectly reflecting this mediating image of Jesus. He becomes a bridge to reconcile between Philemon and Onesimus. Today's first reading is a letter of St. Paul to the Philemon. Just a single chapter, yet it is included in the Bible to show its importance, the message that it carries. The letter's content is about accepting back the slave Onesimus. Philemon is the master. And perhaps the slave stole something from the master Philemon and ran away. And therefore, according to the law, Onesimus deserved punishment. And somehow Paul encounters Onesimus and he calls him, 
He is my child. I am his father. Paul is now in prison. He is old. And from there he writes this beautiful letter of love. Reminding Philemon. Philemon also may have been the spiritual child of uh, Paul. A rich person and a slave. So Paul is playing the mediating role. The role to bring them together. He becomes a bridge. And his request to Philemon is... Please forgive him. Please accept him, Onesimus. If there is something to be paid, I will be the one to restitute. So he gives him the guarantee. And this letter is written by Paul himself with his own hands. Onesimus, the word meaning is useful. He plays on, his word, on this word as he writes the letter. Maybe Onesimus by his going away is stealing has become useless but yet he can be useful to you as we reflect on the content of this message what is the application for each one of us today brothers and sisters the message is if we have power and influence or good qualities use this to unite people our power, wealth, influence should not be to divide someone. We should be playing a mediating factor, a bridge that reconciles different people. And maybe you are working in your offices or at home in your own places. And you can play this role of bringing back people together, those who are divided because of different circumstances. So this is one message that we can, we can carry for ourselves. The second message that we can carry is having spiritual children. Paul is so proud that he has Philemon as his spiritual child and also Onesimus, the slave, as his spiritual child. As we grow in age, it is not enough that we have uh, only biological children. We need to have spiritual children that shows or indicates our maturity in our Christian life. That we not only take care of our biological children, but also we have spiritual children around. Amen. Please rise. Let us pray with the fullest trust to the Lord of life who waits for us at the end of life's road. Let us say our response, may your kingdom be among us, Lord. May your kingdom be among us, Lord. That the church may constantly prepare the people to welcome Christ when he returns. Let us pray to the Lord. May your kingdom be among us, Lord. That by their commitment to justice and peace, Christians may bring all people together in faith and hope and prepare them for the final coming of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may your, your kingdom, kingdom be among us, us Lord. Lord. That tragedies caused by nature or human cruelty may not distract us or weaken our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. May your kingdom be among us, Lord. That the sick may accept Jesus in their hearts and see him present in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. May your kingdom be among us, Lord. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. May your kingdom be among us, Lord. Let us very specially pray for our brothers and sisters who are affected by the typhoon. Let us also pray for people who have requested our prayers and to those whom we have promised ours. Heavenly Father, you are always near to us. You know our needs better than we do. 
Help us to be always aware of your presence now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Ang alay na ito, mga biyayang nagmula sa pagpapala mo. Tanda ng bawat puso, pagkat inibig mo, ngayon nananalig, nagmamahal sa iyo. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Josephath, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Brotherico, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Josephat, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as we sing the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I'm 
only human I'm just a man Help me believe In what I could be And all that I am Show me the stairway to take one day at a time one day at a time sweet Jesus that's all I'm asking from you just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do Yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today, show me the way, one day at a time. Do you remember when you walked among men? Lord Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, it's worse now than then. Cheating and stealing, violence and crime. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. That's all I'm asking from you Just give me the strength To do every day What I have to do Yesterday is gone Sweet Jesus And tomorrow may never be mine Lord, help me today, show me the way, one day at a time. Orasu Imperata. Please kneel. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Pray for the departed souls. May the souls of all the faithful departed, especially those whom we promise to pray, and those who need our prayers through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, where without end. Amen. Let us pray. Please rise. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephus' example, we may be willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sa sarili lang